Make sure you like, comment, share this motherfucker to another creator, and peace and love. Yeah, <clears throat> Good morning, you motherfuckers. We just had a photo shoot with the one and only brother Luck. His family came out. You know, two things come to mind. First and foremost, the weather was fucking crazy. Super cold. It's raining slash snowing with fog, extreme fog. We can't even see the mountains or the rocks out here. It really just gives me the idea of, you know, you can't plan the shoot all the way through. You can only plan so much. And so when we planned this shoot, I had the idea of using one of my favorite locations but with the fog we're about to pass that location with the fog y'all i don't even think it would be useful the second thought that comes to my mind is this is a time of year where you're around family more or family is encouraged to bond with each other you know i can almost smell the the fumes in the room when when they're cooking and you just have that good family environment a reason why i say that is two things is one to value and appreciate those good times because you never know when it'll be the last for somebody. So right now, and just to turn that camera on, turn the camera this way. This is a spot where I like to shoot at. So right here is the overseeing spot. You literally oversee and there's rocks off of the rocks after rocks and this is beautiful. It's, it's, it's an amazing spot to shoot at. But the fog today, I knew it was gonna be cold and I knew it was potentially gonna snow. And I thought the snow would add an amazing backdrop and scenic view. But the variable that I, that I did not factor in was the variable of the fog. Now, with that being said, two things come to my mind is just go shoot is the idea of adapting and adapting with variables like the fog and then the second thing is is um, back to that that family environment thing is is why do we need this time of the year to involve family mm. I think that family is such a, a valuable part now for me personally and I'll go ahead and look at the camera for all my family members out there I love you uh, but my family is really driven around friends friends and people that I consider family and that idea I come to the conclusion that I want to be around my family all the time And I want to bring my family along the journey of mine and I don't Necessarily um, like the idea of just holiday family. I actually despise it. I don't like holiday family <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be real with y'all motherfuckers if you only hit me up on holidays. I don't like you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if that's you man just you know and this is this is also the the other side of it is I can do a better job at reaching out to family as well but the reason why I say all this and, and really just spew out these ideas and thoughts here as my buddy Chris um, takes me as I'm driving which first and foremost that never happens I don't really have like a second shooter rarely and if I do I know I made a recent film about I'm a one-man film crew well, the truth is, is I don't want to be. I want to have a team. I want other creators to be a part of my journey. And Chris is a prime example of somebody that I've met along my journey that, you know, you can ask Chris, man, we've been partnering up continuously and more and more as we build through our own journey, but we've been partnering up continuously to, to be a team. And we, we don't want to be one man photographer, one man videographer. It, it, it doesn't. It takes too long. Yeah, it takes too long to, to execute too long. your own goals by yourself. You go much further together. There's a saying that, that I've been um, harping on that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, bring a team. And I, I've been resonating with that very heavily. And, you know, I think the next question is, well, how do you build a team? And somebody brought this up to me recently. Well, how do you get people to work with you for free? Because really, we don't have money to pay each other all the time. And I said two things to that. Consistent goals. One, either um, pay your team is mm. the first option. You have to pay them some sort of a cut. If you get paid, they get paid. That's something that I really live on because I've only got one big check in my life. And when I got that check, I paid everybody that was a part of my journey up to that point. And when I get my next check, I'll do the same thing. But the second variable 
to answer that question just to, and I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just kind of driving, trying to find an exit. No, no, you're good. Um, I'll tell you when. The second variable to this component or this equation here is bringing value. Because I, I had a meeting left or right, right? Um, go let's, let's go straight. Yeah, straight. Okay. I don't care no more. Bringing value. The second component of this equation is bringing value. If you can bring value to somebody's life, like for example, there's people that I'm partnering with right now that want no financial gain out of it, strictly experience. And the experience that they gain from being around either me, the business that I conduct, or the people that I conduct business with is either motivating them or encouraging them. And then also giving them examples of how they can apply maybe the same tactics to, to their own lives. Because I'll be the first to tell you, if Chris went off and created his own business with media or photographer, that, that he, one, he's already done that. But if he and somebody else that I've worked with partnered up and went and did their own thing, it would never hurt me. Even if they made the same company that I have, being a media company videographer, but or even if they have, you know, my next goal is a media company. Even if they go and do that, that could never hurt me. It would. Just don't name it Dana Keith. Yeah, you can't. Well, that's that's true. <laughs> you know, but the idea is that that your progression and your your path. your path can never affect me negatively. It only can affect me positively. And I've made that a decision. Like literally, like people that that I know. I hope them only the best. And the truth is, is that I'm teaching people not only what I do, how I do it, and the way I do it. I'm teaching them all these variables. And at the end of the day, I will be happy if you took those and applied it. But it could never hurt me in a negative form. So I say that because, you know, one, we're just rambling, we're spitting our ideas, and we literally just had a photo shoot together with my main client. I would let Chris speak on this part, but I can say that I can only imagine the ideas that have been, you know, passed along to Chris or the experience that has been passed along to Chris. And this isn't me. This isn't just me. This is, you know, kudos to the people that I bring him around, like brother. You know, brother being a prime example. You know, I, I hope that he's picked up, you know, ideas or motivation to really go get it because we've all wanted these things to be independent entrepreneurs, business people, to provide for our families. And the truth is, is that our dreams are closer than we think. We literally have to keep reaching. And uh, I'll leave it there. And we're gonna be doing it whether or not you're coming along or not. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? That's the truth is we're gonna be doing it with or without you. So like, and that's, that's actually, that is, this is a good segue because I had a meeting and actually Chris filmed my meeting with creators and there wasn't a very strong follow-up with that meeting. Now, I say that for two things. One, because there's room for improvement, right? There's opportunity for, for next meeting to have a stronger follow-up. But the second thing is, is that that I'm not gonna stop working with or without a, a team or with or without more participation, with or without you, in theory, all, all respects to you, we're gonna we're gonna keep working. Always, we're, we're gonna keep working. All Chris day. gonna keep doing what he's doing. Chris has done videography on his own. And actually, when I saw that film that he did, uh, the one in specific, I was like, whoa, you, your, your video editing skills are improving. That, that was my thought. Because when I met Chris, and this is speaking in third person here, as you're here, right. Chris is a phenomenal photographer. Thank you. Period blank. Thank you. He's a talented, great photographer. Now, videography is my strength that when I met Chris, he, it was through videography and I just helped Chris along with his journey but to see the growth and, and there's two points here to see the growth in that video and also the second point being seeing Chris going to go get that business for that video work was a, a very enjoyable moment and you know that's only the beginning only the start only beginning it's one just example one of example. what you were just talking about if uh, i ain't mistaken yeah <laughs> one example of you know our, the journey it's the fucking journey and i love this idea of this vlog i'm gonna use this vlog today this is, this is gonna be my vlog today okay i love the idea of documenting the journey so i love the idea of documenting the journey because 
you know, I've I've That's been where all the fun is, I've been man. doing all I've been doing all this work for so long, man. And this is this is gonna be a two point example. I do this a lot. Two points here. I've been doing this for so long that if you don't show people you're doing it, then they don't know it. You know. And then the second half of that, my second point is, is that to get the feedback from certain people, like for example, man, there's this is dude that I know. I grew up with him. Um, he's my brother, man. He's my brother. I love him to death. But he's never really given me any feedback from any video I've done in three years. Maybe once. You know, very few far between. You know, to say the least, he hasn't supported me in a way that, let's be honest, that I hope my great friends do. All right? And I'm just going to put this out real blank. Rewind that. Um, because I, I hope my, my great friends do. But... When he gave me feedback on this No Excuse November journey, which is a day, a video a day, no matter what, it meant something. It meant something to me, not only because it was kind for him to watch all my videos, but for somebody in his shoes to give me the feedback that he gave me. I've been wanting that feedback. Keep it real with you. I've been wanting that type of feedback, along with you know many other peers that, that I look up to and respect and you know that I have friendships with. But I say this to, to get to my last point, being that I've been, I've been doing this for so long that for you guys to finally see what I do <laughs> makes me fucking laugh. Makes me fucking laugh because my sister, my sister is a prime example that, you know, I tell her I'm doing these music videos. I'm tell her, I tell her I'm get all these opportunities in a corporate environment for videography, which okay. is a craft. You know, it's kind of like, you know, congrats, cool. You know, it's like a... Um, and, and Jessica, if you're watching, because I know you're watching, I love you. But it's 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 kind of like a um, subtle gesture, is, is what I'll phrase it as. It's just a subtle gesture. When in reality, you know, when I put out these videos now, she understands the full aspect of, hey, you have a business. You are a businessman. You are you've working. Got how many hours of actual content? Yeah, you've got how much content? What? You know what I'm saying? So like... Even my family, I'll just extend it out to my entire family. For them to see this journey and to understand and maybe have a different perspective of either me, what I'm doing, or my work, the whole nine, because I've invested a lot of time in this craft, whether you've seen it or not, and I will continue to do it. Somebody I talked to the other day, I told them, I said, when I'm totally exhausted, when I'm, I'm telling you, when I'm falling asleep in my computer chair, when I'm falling asleep in my computer chair, I wake up and I tell myself one more hour. <laughs> Man, yo, and that is a regular. I know. I, I, bro, I can speak for myself like, with that. I can only yeah. think it's true of you too. Yeah, like bro, like, like how much time we've invested? I, I keep Ooh. telling myself one more hour. And what that one more hour, what it means to me, and what it is, is two things. That one more hour means to me that I've got more work to do. And then the second thing that it means to me is. One more hour is me writing a check for the future. You know, I'm investing mm. time mm. for the future. Mm. So that check that I continuously write to myself for my future, mm. the time I'm investing now will be rewarded with abundance in return. Meaning that I'm investing what I believe is, you know, hard work, right? And I, I put, I put, I believe in front of it strictly because what I believe will be returned to me for this hard work will be in abundant in comparison for what I see because I can only see my perspective, not bird's eye view on a macro level. I um, think, I think to sum that up, it would be a perseverance um, dividend. Perseverance yes. dividends. Yes. Yes, I, I, I believe it. You know, with, with all that being said, man, I, I rambled for a while. Shout out Chris for recording, being here, second shooting the day. Shout out everybody I've worked with. If everybody I've worked with, if you're watching it, just know I haven't forgot about y'all. Chris is a perfect example of I won't forget about you. It's all about timing. And then the second half of that same exact statement is shout out to, I mean, I'm going to actually shout out her name. Shout out Karen, because Karen has not only been at my meeting for for um, creators but she's continuously followed up with me and that follow-up that that follow-up that effort that she puts in to follow up with me not only am i extremely thankful for because i'm extremely thankful for the follow-up but what it does is it puts her in a different position 
Because and it helps guys like us that are always busy. Bruh, ain't like that the fuck. truest? Like, it helps us, but it, it also lets me know that she wants it. So that for if you if you want it either as bad as I do or want it for yourself, then I respect you. Go seek it. Go seek it, man. That's the fucking. It ain't message. gonna seek you. You got Straight anything up. to wrap this up, bro? Well, um, thanks for tuning in, guys. And as always, we'll catch you on the flip. Make sure you like, comment, share this motherfucker to another creator, and peace and love.